Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, ooh, we're a little breaded out there. There we go. Today, we're doing some sight fishing. I'm actually looking for them right now. There's little pockets of uh, hard bottom kind of mixed in with this, all this soft bottom, this dead vegetation. There's some fresh weed growth in here, but there's a lot of dead vegetation right now. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do today is sight fish for some crappie and some bluegill. But I want to first tell you a story. Last year, when I stored my boat outside, I stored it at a farm. And it was actually about this time last year, I caught a bunch of crappie, threw them in the live well. And uh, because I stored it outside, there was no lighting. And all I have for lights are, are these guys right here. That's it. Which is, it's great for the front deck, don't get me wrong. It's, it's great for the front deck, but uh, not great for the live well. So, what happened was I uh, forgot a fish. Yeah. And I left it there for a week in the live well. So you can imagine how disgusting that was. Like it was, it was bad. It was all rotted. There was wax worms and all stuff crawling in it. And uh, I actually had to punch out right there. I actually had to punch out the, uh, the strainer in order to get the scales and all the worms out of my live well. It was, it was smelled nasty. So I actually spray painted or used Flex Seal to paint the inside all white. See how it's, see how the entire inside's white? I kind of missed some spots right there. There I missed a spot, but the entire inside is white. So I thought, well, that's gonna work. The very next week, did the same thing, left the fish in the live well. Luckily it was only for one night. Um, still smelled disgusting, like it was, it was bad. It was, it was terrible. Um, so I uh, was thinking about, okay, what, what can I do? I could put lights in the live well. I could do that, but it seems like a pain in the butt to do. And then this company contacted me. They sent me this. Vaunt Headlight. He sent me, they sent me like two or three of these, which is perfect. And I said, this is going in my boat. This is one of them is going in my truck, but I want my audience to be able to get some of these at a discount. So they said, well, we'll, we'll give them a 10% discount. Thank you, Vaunt. Here's the promo code right, right here. It also be linked below, but that is definitely staying in my boat. I am not going to forget a fish in my live well ever again. Uh, I got no excuses now. Well, today's focus is finding some fish. The main goal is trying to find a crappie on a bed and then catch it on the underwater camera. I have anchor right here. This is gonna be my underwater camera. I'm gonna clip it. It's gonna be clipped like that, pointed at the bed. So that is, that is the goal today. Catch at least one crappie on a bed on the underwater camera. I've seen a couple bluegill on beds, so let's uh, let's go find them. All right. So going with the eight foot rod, probably should have brought a ten foot. Ourselves a little pico tube. Super clear water right now. Hopefully there's still shallow. Water's up. Water's up a good like two feet too, so that should help us a little bit here. The disadvantage is the water temp's like seventy degrees, but. They were here last week, so hopefully there's still a few males on the beds. I doubt most of the fem most of the females are probably done. Oh, there's one right there. All right, we found a crappie on a bed. Found a crappie on a bed. Let's get the uh, get this guy down there. All right, crappie, crappie on the bed. Still in the bed, I think so. Oh yeah, it's still there. Drop it down. Freak, boat's gonna scare him. Dang it, dang it. Boat just scared him, I gotta wait now. And the wind stopped and Push my boat all the way forward. There's gotta be some other crappie in here. Usually there's some in this. I don't know if you can see how clear this water is. There's some submerged bushes here. 
What's that one up there? It's gonna push me back over the bed. I don't want that. This wind is not working out. We're good now. We're gonna drop it right on him. Come on, dude. You just gotta anger him. Oh, he tapped it. It's a very catchable fish. Very catchable. This is the day you wish you had power poles or talons or something. He swiped at it. He swiped at it. Dang it. Oh, he was right there with it. Oh, there's another crappie right here too. All right, well, let's try to catch this bedded crappie. All right, we're gonna try to catch this bedded crappie. See if this one will bite. Got him, got him. Not on camera, but this is a nice crappie. That is a nice crappie. I'm gonna guess it's close, close to 12. I'll pull out the bump board here. Where's the bump board? It's on one side or the other. There it is. Oh, we got 11 and a quarter, 11 and a quarter inch fish. Not the one I want on camera, but that is uh, first crappie. We're gonna let him, yeah, we're gonna throw him in the live well for now. Now I can't see him. Yeah, I can't see him now. So, oh, you're right there. You're right on the bed. Try a different color. Sometimes you gotta throw something a little bit different at them. I'm gonna go red and chartreuse. Ooh, wow. And that is why I really need a full deck. <laughs> Breaking ankles here. This is this is what my dad it's wide open right there and I tend to miss it, I miss that step quite a bit. But we're gonna go with this red and chartreuse here and hopefully that triggers a bite. Something different. That crappie's seen that blue and white one too much, I think. You know, when we first pulled in here, it was dead calm. Dead calm, need to turn you on. Oh no, he swiped at it. Oh, that was it. All right, I'm gonna give him a second. Let's go find another one. Got him. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Easy, easy, easy. This is just like uh, bass fishing <laughs> for those, those bedded bass. Sometimes it takes a long time. It's a solid, what is this guy? Where's my bump board? Yeah, solid 10 and a halfer. Beautiful black crappie though. Look at that. Just a, uh, basic jig setup, sight fishing for them. So much fun this time of year. Uh, late May, early June, these black crappie are on their beds. I'm gonna let this guy go real quick. So much fun, but it takes, it takes a long time to catch these fish uh, on these beds. But here's what I was using, these are the Pico uh, scent rings, uh, single tails, and uh, man, that took forever. If you notice, I really was bouncing it on the bed, making it look like there's some sort of invasive species or some sort of uh, predator, small predator fish, kind of eating those eggs, and that's really what triggered that fish. If you're just catching bobbers up shallow, I guarantee that fish won't even touch the live minnow. All right, well, that is gonna wrap it up for today. Two crappie. Try to get that last pumpkin seed to hit, but uh, yeah, this is 
underwater camera setup for me for right now. It's a Hero 4, by the way. And uh, here's the setup I was using. Super simple. Super clear water, so super lightweight lines. The, uh, the 8 foot ACC probably should have gone with like a 10 or 11 foot today, or even that 12 footer. Um, but 6 pound mono. And then this is the PC Fun Ice X5, 500 size reel. I like these smaller ones for jigging when you're just vertically jigging. It's so light, so especially if you've got a longer rod. And then these are a 1 one sixteenth ounce, one sixteenth ounce jig head with a Pico uh, scent ring jig, blue and white, and red and chartreuse. Red and chartreuse and blue and white do pretty well on our lakes up north, especially when the crappie are on the bed. Um, if you noticed how I was looking for these beds, find those those hard bottom areas that are kind of surrounded by either live or dead vegetation. Um, that's where these fish are going to set up. Water levels actually raised up on this lake by about two feet because last week I was here, I think some of these fish were in like three feet of water, but now they're in about four or five. Being able to see those fish on the bed and then drop that jig on the bottom of the bed, trigger that bite, that was super key. Huge thank you to Vaunt for the headlamp. I will never lose a fish in the live well again or forget one. That was disgusting. So. Appreciate you watching. If you got any comments or questions, comment section below, or you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. We'll see ya.